I'm in the barn with all the crea. And yesterday I told you we are required to do a contiguous test. Now, TB is fairly um, prevalent in the UK amongst cattle herds. And so there's very, very strict monitoring systems. So farms in my area have compulsory TB tests on all their cattle every year. Um, it's nothing like as common amongst alpaca herds. And there is no compulsory testing for alpacas. However, if you get asked to do a test um, because of contiguous um, contact or back testing, so they're tracing animals backwards from an infected animal, then you, you have to comply. You get given a temporary holding number if you don't already have one. Um, uh, but you don't get put on movement restrictions for contiguous testing. So I can move animals on off the farm as much as I like. However, I don't want animals to leave when we're awaiting a TB test because the best possible way to know your herd is clear is to have every animal tested. And so we are going to wait. There's about 10 crea that were due to go out in the next four weeks or so. And we're going to wait until they have um, completed the tests and hopefully we have a negative because if we don't we'll be on restrictions and won't be able to um, let them leave the farm until we're all clear but we're going to wait until those tests are completed so I've now I think I hope contacted all the owners who are uh, <laughs> awaiting their career and they're all happy to wait until we definitely have a clear test um, which is, is biosecurity for them too so here's the lovely Korea.